Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's look at this question that we have here and see how we can respond to it. So it says, the figure below shows an irregular pentagon A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Question one, or question A. Draw the polygon full size showing clearly the construction of all angles. Okay, so the first one is just asking us to construct, to, to construct the given polygon. So we're going to start. So we'll start with the line. So the, the first line here, the line AB is uh, 30 millimeters long. So you can draw it from here. So so 30. So this is A B. And then at point A we have angle 105 and at point B we have angle 120. So we construct these angles. So at this point mm -hmm. 105. Let's turn this a bit. Okay. So we create 90. 90 to start with. And then we bisect this part. So that we get angle 105. Okay. So this side we have 120. So again, at this point, you strike an arc, we have 60, and then 120 there. Then the distance from this point to this point is 40. So you just get your divider and measure 40 there, then at that point, and then at this point again, we have 105, so this is point C, so 105 again. You get your compass, open it to any convenient radius, strike an arc, strike an arc, 60, 120, so 90, by bisecting that 60 and 120. So one zero five will be here. We bisect that. We get one zero five. And then we have this one which is forty five, so you get your divider open to forty five from this point. 45 
and then at this point you construct angle 90 so Okay, and then draw draw the polygon. So this is point D. This is point E. Okay, so that is our polygon A, B, C, D, E. So we go to the second question. Question B says, draw an image of this polygon using a ratio of three to two so this one comes under um, enlargement and reduction so this one is um by looking at the ratio we can work out the scale factor which is uh three over two which is 1.5 meaning it's an enlargement by a scale of, uh, by a scale factor of 1.5 so for enlargement the first one here on the ratio, the first one represents the image, and then the second one represents the ratio. So if the first one, the first number here is greater than the second number, it means you're enlarging. If the first number is smaller than the second number, it means it's a reduction because the scale factor will be less than one. So here we are enlarging. So we can pick any side, so we use this method where we will pick any side and then we we divide it. Just follow the the big number here, so we just follow the big number, which is three. So we are going to draw a slant line from any of the sides. We are going to pick side A, B. So we draw a slant line. Okay, at any angle and of any length and then we divide it into we make three equal marks so one two and three there so here we have one two and three so two will represent the end point of the line and then three will be for the image so here what we're going to do is we're going to extend this line a bit with the faint line okay and then we close this point to the last point of the original line which is 30 or of the original object so we close and then we draw here we're going to draw a line that will be parallel to this one at this point here so we can use the six squares align that six square with the line that we want to draw a parallel line to and then this you draw a line at point three okay so at this point we are going to draw um, lines from this point to each corner of the of the polygon just uh, faint lines we call them radial lines so we'll draw a line from this from this 
point to this corner just like we've already drawn a line to this corner so we draw a line to this corner there we draw another line to this corner and a line to that corner there so it's just an extension of this line like that and then at this point so this point that we have we've moved from this point to this point here so this will be our point b prime like that so this is the enlargement for this line so we just have to draw a line that is parallel to this one at this point so get your set square there and then you draw a parallel line from this point to meet with the radial line that is passing through point c Okay, so from point B prime, now we have C prime, and again, we draw a line that is parallel to this one from point C prime there. So, the right line that is parallel to line CD at this point. Okay. So we've moved line, we've moved point D to D prime, and we have this one here. So we draw a parallel line to line DE at point D, point D prime rather. Okay, so that is our enlargement. So we can do this. Okay, so B prime, C prime, D prime, and E prime. Okay, so thank you so much for watching if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share and also consider subscribing if you haven't already